All right, all right, all right. For those of you who are meat lovers, have we got a treat for you for just sticking around for more Explore Tulsa. Now, Stevie, what's your favorite part of cooking out on the grill? Mm, I love it when you get the fire going, mm -hmm. you slap that steak on the grill, and there's that sizzle. <laughs> You know, my first job, I worked my way up from dishwasher to fry cook and finally grill master at the Bonanza Sirloin Pit. Hmm, I'm guessing that place went out of business real fast. But a family-owned operation that continues to serve nothing but the best is Harvard Meat. Meat's easy to cook. You can do it in a crock pot. You can bake it, you can grill it, you can broil it. I mean, I'm with Google now. You can look up any recipe you want. Well, my dad's done the meat business since he was 19. He's traveled around from state to state to Canada, opening up different meat stores. We always had freezers full of meat. We very rarely got a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, so when we got that, we were happy about it. So throughout his whole life, he's either been, you know, going from state to state or he's been here. Miami, Oklahoma is where we grew up, so he had a meat store there. Um, my brother opened this, like I said, February will be nine years. We opened up our new location in Broken Arrow at 91st and Elm, January of this year. My brother owns this one and has for about nine years. And about four years ago, I came and started managing it for him. Growing up, you did more like the sides and quarters of beef. So you go into the meat store, you see the big sides and quarters hanging. And I remember, you know, playing around with them. And we used to do like the Rocky thing and hit the meat. That was always fun as a kid. Now we cut, get pieces in. So we'll get like the whole short loin, the whole ribeye roll, and then we cut steaks or roast out of it. So it's kind of a little bit different now than it was back then. People don't use the fat, the bone that they used to. They're kind of getting back to using some of the bone now. The best thing to look for is gonna be the redness in the color and then also the marbling in it. You want to see a lot of the white throughout it, kind of speckled throughout it. That's going to give you, that's going to tell you your, that it's a choice or a prime grade. So if it's just the red meat, no marbling, it's probably going to be select, maybe even no roll. Doesn't mean it's a bad piece of meat. You might need to marinate it first, but usually your choice and prime grades are going to be better and it's going to have your white marbling throughout the meats. Well, we'll cut anything you want here. So if you come in, you see a steak, you see a roast, you want it thinner, thicker, you want to roast bigger, smaller, we'll cut it for you. Um, we grind here fresh every day. We'll pack it any way you want. So if you want to come in and you want 10 chicken breasts, but you want them one to a pack, it's packed in freezer paper. So if you're not going to use it right away, you can put it in the freezer. You know, we get a lot of older people that are, just live by themselves. So they only do maybe half a pound of ground beef at a time. We'll pack it up half a pound of ground beef. So we'll do it any way you want. We carry kangaroo, wild boar, elk, venison, duck, rabbit, quail. Probably every now and then we'll get stuff in like um, iguana, um, pheasant, ostrich. Sometimes that's a little harder to come by, but if we can get it in, we've got it. We have a lot of customers that come in every day, get their meat fresh every day. So they know that it's fresh, it's, you know, and I think people are just so busy now, they don't, even, they don't plan that far ahead to cook for the week. I love our regular customers. Um, we actually even have some that have been coming in from day one when this place was open, and they actually get a special discount because they have been with us from day one to now. They come in either weekly or sometimes, like I said, some of them are even daily. They come in every day, get their meat before they go home for dinner. To us, it's, it's, that's community. I mean, we're, they're, they're like family to us. We know their kids, we've seen their kids grow up, they know our kids, it's great. Mm -hmm. 